Scorpio singles, welcome. Totally singles, completely singles, dedicatedly singles. It's your singles ring for December 2021. Doing something a little different to meet the soulmate, which I may return to, like flip-flop weeks or something. I think I could get at a little more doing this read. I call it Tarot Story Time. I use 10 cards here um, to try to tell a story that puts your uh, search for love because you're single here. If you're thinking of someone, check out Soul Family Read. And if you're spiritually or manifesting, you know, uh, in that area, uh, check out the Soul Family Read too. Um, the Heart Spread will talk about someone that's on your mind. So when you're thinking about this is really for someone that's kind of wide open and that magic energy of anything's possible. Um, so this is predictive too. We wouldn't be talking about someone coming in. Uh, <clears throat> I'm kind of split for the story, so let me start. If I want to try to do two threads, but I don't think so. Hopefully it'll come together. And the hardest thing with this is to fig figure the time frame. And I think this is the time frame of the ending of the first significant relationship of your life. Might have been a marriage, Scorpio. Uh, if not a marriage, it was a very significant relationship, live-in relationship, committed relationship, okay? Um, so, um, and that's coming with the Three of Pentacles. You know, what comes to mind with this is, this is the energy of... Um, you know, when you know it's over, it's sometimes even before, you know, you might start doing the tighten up with your friends in a way you didn't do before. Hey, are you there? Or, hey, can we get together? Maybe you haven't really done that in a year or something. And I think that's the thing. And you, you leaned on people, Scorpio, and had a lot of uh, help during this time. Um, this even could be speak to maybe people actually gave you Scorpio financial help supported you materially in some way um, and I think that's nothing but a good thing and you end up coming out of that um, feeling pretty good about yourself and after that um, I think this is uh, I, it, I think trying to think of the time frame too this could be pointing to like your 30s uh, that kind of time frame for you uh, going back and I think with the Six of Wands, you go through a period after this, and I'm not saying you're promiscuous, but where you're really not, you're kind of, and I think it's very healthy, um, you didn't, you knew you really didn't want anything serious, uh, you wanted to kind of have fun, um, you had your core of friends here, and that, that felt grounded to you, but then, at some point, this is active here, the Knight of Cups, you know, this is maybe be a lot of uh, energy is feeling good having fun um, and this is getting serious now with someone again and I think the person that you get serious about the only way I can tell that say this reading I know it gets kind of specific the Libra Sun Moon rising or Venus prominent personality but someone in your life um, that you become interested in and with, the, uh, with justice over the uh, Ten of Pentacles, it's karmic, you know, um, all relationships are, in my opinion, but I think you might even see it that way. Maybe they see it that way. There's that feeling of a soulmate attraction that's a karmic connection. And this person is very solid here. Now, there may be an issue of marriage involved, too, um, and they may be a Libra personality, um, <clears throat> this person, but... Um, they don't want for things, you know, Ten of Pentacles, that's very solid, you know, if they need something, they get it, if they, um, it's not necessarily saying they're rich, but um, they're very solid, like even financially, um, and this is the person you're giving your love to, and I think it's very kind of eighth house that you benefit hugely from this, and I think this shows them seeing you as the perfect start, you know, in this forming this new relationship. This may be your second big relationship of your life, maybe your third, maybe your fourth, I don't know. Um, this is kind of later in life. I see this coming maybe at least later in your 30s or something or 40s, uh, maybe into also I thought this could represent just a very present energy. Maybe you're in this right now. Um, and by attaching yourself to this person, and by committing yourself to this person, say attaching yourself, I don't really see it as codependent. You know, it's it's just 
some people got got a lot more money <laughs> and it, that's everything then I guess it's a big deal but I see it as only being a, a part of the a big picture um, um, you're really leveling up with this world energy um, and you've got to always figure in a soulmate connection you know sure you deserve it in whatever way you've earned this um, you maybe handled the past situation um, very well you know, you didn't let it get down, get you too down. Um, you relied on your friends for help and accepted uh, their help, and uh, you uh, overcame it. Looks like um, very well, and you walked away. I like this Knight of Cups looking into the reading, Scorpio, because I see you walking away from some real difficulty. We may have been cheating, lying, stealing. You might have been hurt very badly, but with this Knight of Cups, you're going forward into love with an open heart. Um, soft-hearted still not being real cynical which is good for scorpios can go that way no anyway um but so being relatively open and um i think like because of that um you get uh, really i see this as kind of like uh you're uh, i see a good connection here with this person this eight of pentacles is both people really thinking it through nuts and bolts and thinking like i'm in i'm in and i think here we see this kind of uh Denurement, uh with the two of pentacles and the eight of cups um, and it shows I think this is the energy when you get the world really everything changes right your life changes uh, the way you bring in relationships change the way you re relate in relationships changes um, the way everything kind of changes once you cut level up to this world energy that you're coming in here with and there's got to be a period of adjustment because the two of uh, pentacles you really don't need to do that anymore the two of pentacles is uh, juggling things to keep up to keep a good schedule it's paying attention you still gotta have a schedule even though know, you're well to do um, but you know this could be also kind of juggling two people I know from my own experience I think once you have a solid love uh, there's a whole aspect of your life where you yes you have to give energy to that love I don't think it's the kind of same energy you give to when you're looking for love or wanting love, you know, it's uh, more grounded and it kind of leaves you more energy to do other things. It's what I mean, but this two of pentacles, it's kind of nuts and bolts, you know, rolling the sleeves up, doing the work yourself. And it's kind of walking away from that emotionally, you know, meaning kind of accepting that you don't have to do everything yourself. You're in a different position now um, and really come into peace with where you're at. You know, it's like, uh, becoming the moth or the butterfly, finishing the transformation, and taking a minute to kind of appreciate um, what you have and that you can't go back again. Like Thomas Wolfe said, you can't go home again. You're a moth now, you're a butterfly, so caterpillar days are gone. <laughs> uh, and I could see where that could take a minute. Um, check out the Soul Family Read if you're at all uh, spiritually minded uh, into um, manifestation um, I think you might relate uh, looking at your read uh, guys uh, so thank you give me thumbs up uh, like uh, tell friend tell friend do subscribe and hit the bell thank you guys